Hello, my name is Bambi Harris. I'm the author of over 30 books, actually 37 for now, but nearly 38. Uh, I'm going to start this channel to help other people who want to start writing books. I am coming from a different level where I'm going to discuss more the level of storytelling as opposed to the, the very literary kind of aspects of things like grammar and uh, anything an English professor might offer you. I'm coming from a more of a layman's background where I just started writing books from scratch without any preconceived notions of how to do it. I will say that a lot of people who read one of my books read another. Um, these are page turners and I'm going to impart my knowledge which has been built up from, from fumbling around and learning my own way around it. And with 10 years of experience, hopefully this can help you cut some corners. Um, these are going to be little tips and uh, please feel free to write to me and ask me questions. Again, I'm not going to be able to tell you uh, if this is grammatically correct or, or if it should be in this kind of structure or what a subjective or an adjective or anything else like that is. I'm literally just going to tell you how to write something that people want to keep reading. And that is, a, is at the heart of writing. That is at the heart of reading. What a reader really wants is to pick up a book and, and look at the page and read it and say, okay, what's next? What happens next? And that's what I'm going to help you with. Um, today, I'm just going to give you a short introductory video. Um, hopefully, you'll get to know me over the time. And again, write anytime you like about anything you need to know and I will help you the best I can. I have tried a lot of things over the years and um, I, I know where to avoid and, and what to avoid and, and what to concentrate on. But this first video is going to be just a short video to start you off. Um, a lot of people who are watching this now have probably already started uh, writing a book or they've got some ideas. But if you want to start at the very beginning on this one, I firstly recommend um, from the very scratch for any of you who are a little unsure of where to start, if you're really at the point where you're just standing there saying, okay, I want to write a book. Um, I was there once uh, when one day uh, I turned to my husband and I said, I'm going to write a book. Now he's like, okay, that sounds fine. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't even know what my book was going to be about. I just knew that I was going to write one. So the next step is, because you think, well, that's, that's duh, of course, so I just need to write a book. But you need to know, okay, forget about the end product. Forget about what's at the end of the road. Don't say to yourself, I can't do this because what about this when I get published? And what about copywriting? And what about the cover? And, and how am I supposed to structure it? The most important thing is tell a story. Nothing else matters first. It's like if you sing a song, okay? The, the most important thing is maybe you want to do the melody first or you want to do the lyrics first but the thing is don't worry about the end product just start and and you think well you know okay how do I start here's the thing you once you write one sentence you're writing a book so, so you can say to someone I want to write a book forget that anyone can say that do people come up to me for years Oh, I've been thinking about writing a book the same people come up to me two years later and have said the same thing the only way to write a book is actually write one. So at some stage, just write a sentence. Because the second you write a sentence, you say to yourself, I'm not going to write a book. I am. I have started writing a book. It doesn't matter if it's just a sentence. You've actually started. And even if you have to, just like an exercise program, start from the, the very lowest building blocks, one sentence at a time, one sentence a week, one sentence a day eventually you'll get to the point where you've got a whole paragraph and, and then you'll get a whole page. And you can start in the middle if you want because there are no rules to this. You, you pick the part of the melody that you want to present. So first of all, just start. It doesn't matter how much. No one is sitting there with, with a watch going, okay, how much have you written? You're the one doing that to yourself. Don't worry about the end product. You will get to that. Don't worry about how much weight you lose. Start, start moving. Just put it into action. Start moving. That's what you have to do. Don't say, I'm worried about, I'm scared of. Just do it. 
just write a sentence just write something it doesn't even matter if you keep that sentence in the book down the track you don't have to fear it you don't have to worry just begin and so that's that's my biggest tip for today I'm also going to say choose a topic that you would want to read about don't try to be someone else don't try to put on airs and say well other writers that I like talk like this or I, they do like this like any singing artist or painting artist if they spend all their time copying somebody else they're not going to be themselves they're not going to be happy they're not going to enjoy the process and they're not going to present art that is, that is brilliant because they're copying somebody else. It's all right to emulate somebody else. It's all right to, to learn from them and to, to take bits and pieces of the people that they enjoy, but be yourself. And don't worry if you don't know what yourself is as an artist yet. And a writer is an artist. It's a, it's a, it's a form of creative uh, expression. So don't worry about that. Just start. Just start writing sentences and choose a topic that you would want to read. Not what, Don't worry about if your family's going to like it or if this person's going to like it or what are they going to think about it. If you're into vampires or if you're into dogs or if you're into children's books, you choose what you want to read. You choose what you want to bring out of your heart. It's going to be much better quality if it comes from you authentically. And the other, the other thing is, as I said, start writing. So start writing and choose something you want to write about. Those are very important things. And even if you just do a little bit at a day, sometimes if you write a sentence, you go, no matter what, I'm going to write a sentence. I'm just about to go to bed and I still haven't done it. Do it the last second, write one sentence. and You'll find that sometimes you write two or three instead because you realize you have to finish the thought process. And you'd be surprised how much you can produce. Don't forget you're not on the clock. No one's sitting there expecting you to come out with something or do it by a certain time. Start telling people, I am writing a book. Start telling them, I am writing a book. Again, it's just like losing weight. It's just like any other goal. When you tell somebody else, I am doing this, someone somewhere along the line is going to say, how is that going? How is your writing? How is your book? And that's going to encourage you to keep going. So that is my tip for the day. Um, I look forward to getting to know you. I am a novice at this uh, this YouTube world and um, I hope you can help me by you know whatever tips you want to give me or ask me anything uh, and uh, please subscribe to my channel there's a red subscribe button if you can click that also there's a bell next to the subscribe button so if you click that you'll get notifications of every time I do a video I will either do a tip video or bring out one of my book trailers and uh, also, I will be putting these out every Friday, so um, please, any encouragement I get from you, this way I can continue to help and, um, and I hope that, you know, we can, we can build your story together. So, uh, it, I look forward to working with you and it's nice meeting you all and see you next week.